So here I am in Google Slides, and what I really like on this slide is to have an interactive chart. So I'm going to give the students a Google form for them to fill out, and I want the results to show up here in my Google Slides. So I have a Google form that I've created, and let's go ahead and fill it out. I'm going to say that I am happy, and I come back over here, and in my Google form, on the Responses tab, so make sure you're on that Responses tab, you're able to see this nice chart. So right now I've got 58% who are happy. So let's go ahead and fill it out one more time. I'm going to submit this, happy, submit, and I come back here and you can see that this has updated. So as my Google form is filled out, this chart is updated. Now I'm going to want this chart in my Google Slides. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. So that's copied to my clipboard and come back over here to my Google Slides and I'm just going to go ahead and paste. It says I can paste it linked or unlinked. I'll go ahead and paste it linked. So you can see that I have my chart and 61% said that they are happy. So let's fill out the Google form again. So I'm going to fill out the form. I'm going to say that I'm happy. I'm going to fill it out again and say that I'm happy. So it should increase the percentage which we can see here that we now have 67% say that they're happy and over here still says 61. So what happened? Well, what you're going to have to do is click here on update. So once new data comes in, you're going to want to click update. There we go to change the um, Google form. So what I usually will do is I'll just fill it out once before I give it to my students so I can copy that chart from Google Forms and paste it into the slide so it's ready to go because I don't want to have to come over and click copy while I'm in the middle of a lesson. I want it ready to go. So then all I have to do is do the update, which you'll notice it does not say update right here because I don't have anything to update. So let's try that again. I'm going to fill this out a few more times. I'm going to say that I'm sad and I'm going to say that I'm sad and I'm going to say that I'm sad and come back over here and we can see that the sad wedge has indeed increased and the happy wedge has decreased. Now I'm not going to copy because I've already copied this chart. I'm just going to come back over here to the Google Slides. Now notice that it says update. So that change has taken place and I'm just going to be able to update right there where I am working with students and we're able to have this interactive chart right in Google Slides.